Hey, Shalom, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing the truth with sincerity, all right? So I'm going to go in on a quick one, um, real quick. It says in Luke 6, and I'm going to start at 46. And it says, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? All right, so if we're out here and we're, you know, saying we're the Hebrew Israelites and we're the prophets, then we're supposed to be out teaching, see? So you got to do the things which Yahweh Shai said, all right? He said to feed the flock. So that's that's what we that's why we get on these videos. That's why we go to camp. All right. Let me keep reading. Verse 47. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. So if you do it, if you're doing this work, you know, because that you that's what you gotta do. If you're an Israelite man, you should be you know, doing the work, you should, not, you, you should be, because we're a royal priesthood, unto, unto, uh, you know, that's who we are, a royal priesthood, so, the Lord put the spirit on 144,000 men of Israel, to, uh, to, to be involved in this truth, to the point where we're going to be teaching it, all right, let me see, verse, and it shows you what that kind of man is like, all right, a man who does the work, a man who is in this truth. You see? Let's see. Because the times we're coming in, man, this is going to be the stability for us, you know? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Verse, uh, let me see, I'm at 47. Or no, I'm at 48. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. See, this truth is a is a rock for us. See, it reminds me of that uh, that, that verse. Um, let me get. Let me see if I can find it. Um, you know, this this truth is going to be a rock for for the men. You know, who are for the prophets, man. This is going to be our our, you know, our guidance during Jacob's trouble. We're going to be guided by the Spirit. And then you're going to have a foundation, man. If you're if you're part of this truth, if you're a part of this thing, if you're a sincere brother, you're going to, you're going to have a, 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 a rock foundation, solid. See? Let me, let me get this verse real quick. Yes, I should have known. Psalms 1 and 3. It reads, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. All right, you see? So we're, we're this is truth, that's what it is. It makes us like those trees planted by the rivers of water. A tree planted by the water is well nourished, man. The, the, you know? In that season, we bring in the, this is our season. We're bringing in, you know, we're teaching Israel. We're showing Israel the truth. You see? Doing it on the videos, in the camps. We're showing Israel the truth. And this is making us a tree with, uh, with you know, well-nourished tree, basically. And a solid foundation like a rock. All right? So Luke 6 and uh, what we have, 40. 48, I'm going to continue on. It says, He is built like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock, meaning roots, rooted. You know, the tree with deep roots can't be moved. You see? That's how this truth is for, uh, for us men. You know, we're in this truth, and now we're, you know, it's given us a foundation. Man. You, can, you can feel it, man. This truth, when... When you have the, the spirit on you, you know, I had the honor of sitting with uh, 
Elder Apostle Rakar and, and, and some of the other elder brothers from Dallas. And um, you know, they were talking about this, you know. This this just you know, those though you could see the, the experience and and the and the just the realness in the elder, you see? And you can see he's out of he's got a strong foundation, strong rock. See, and like I say, man, I had the honor of, of spending some time with, with the elder um, you know, this past weekend. Because he was in the Denver, came to visit the Denver camp, you know. So um, that's what it is though with this truth, man. You get that rock, and then it says the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it. For it was founded upon a rock. See? So being in this truth, being in this knowledge, learning this scriptures, you know, studying, teaching, it's going to give us that, that foundation like a rock. So when that storm comes, man, that tempest comes, you know, Lord's will, we're part of that number, and we're going to be unmoved, immovable. You see? Verse 49. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did be, beat vehemently and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great see so if you're not doing the work if you're not doing you know you know doing the work of your Bashem Yahweh Shai man you're, you're going to be like a, a house that could be just washed away in that same storm you got a man who's going to be it's going to be uh, solid, you know, like solid as a rock, you know, like that song, <laughs> solid as a rock. But you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. You you have that, that, that foundation, man. So those those men who are, you know the truth, but you don't want to do the work or you don't want to, you know, you're not feeding the flock. You know, you, that's that, you're going to be a, you know, like a, the seeds that were blown away in the wind, you know, the, the parable of the seeds that were sown, and they were some were in rich ground which flourished. Those are the elect, and there's some that are, you know, the, the sun. They, they weren't they weren't deep enough into the earth. They just got the seeds got burnt up by the sun, you know. I mean, you had the truth for a little bit, but then it went away from you. See, we should. That's the other thing. We always got to be praying for that spirit to stay on us, man. Daily. You know? Because this world, man, it, it's a motherfucker, man. This world, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta pray for that spirit to stay on you. Because the word, world, world will, will, you know, be a, a hindrance. So, you know, just stay in the spirit, brothers. I'm going to go ahead and close out with that. So, with that, I want to give all praise and all the glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And all, I also want to acknowledge all um, the elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth and all the sincere brothers who are pushing this truth you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. All right? Shalom to the elect. Till the next time.